Hey everyone, welcome back to Python Code Nemesis. In today's video, we'll be exploring the distinctions between Starlet and Fast API for web development. When it comes to building high performance web applications and APIs in Python, developers often encounter a variety of frameworks to choose from. Two such frameworks that have gained significant popularity are Starlet and Fast API. While both are designed to enhance the efficiency of web development, they exhibit unique features and characteristics that set them apart. In this article, we'll delve into the differences between Starlet and Fast API, shedding light on their individual strengths and use cases. Purpose and origin. Starlet is a lightweight asynchronous web framework designed to provide the basic building blocks for web applications and frameworks. It serves as the foundation for more complex frameworks like Fast API. Starlet focuses on handling low level HTTP protocol operations, routing and middleware management. It enables developers to create custom web components with ease. Fast API is a modern high performance web framework built on top of Starlet. It aims to simplify the development of APIs with automatic data validation, serialization and interactive documentation generation. Fast API's goal is to combine the power of asynchronous programming with a simple and intuitive API for developers. Asynchronous capabilities. Starlet is inherently asynchronous, allowing developers to efficiently handle multiple concurrent connections and tasks. It leverages Python's async IO framework to provide excellent performance for IO buying tasks, making it a suitable choice for applications that require high scalability. Fast API inherits Starlet's asynchronous capabilities, making it a compelling choice for building responsive and high performance APIs. Asynchronous support enables Fast API to handle a large number of simultaneous requests efficiently, providing optimal user experiences for real-time applications. Ease of use and abstraction. Starlet primarily focuses on low-level abstractions, making it suitable for developers who prefer more control over their application's components. It offers building blocks for routing middleware, request, and response handling, but developers need to handle certain aspects manually. Fast API builds on top of Starlet. It introduces a more user-friendly and declarative approach to building APIs. This includes features like automatic request and response validation using Python type hints, data serialization, integrated open API documentation generation, these abstractions significantly reduce the amount of boilerplate code required, making development faster and more intuitive. Dependency injection and data validation. Starlet doesn't offer built-in dependency injection or automatic data validation. Developers need to implement these functionalities manually using libraries like Injector for dependency injection and Pydantic for data validation. Fast API streamlines the process of dependency injection and data validation. It leverages Python type hints to automatically validate incoming requests. This feature enhances code readability, reduces the likelihood of errors, resulting in more robust code bases. Documentation and interactive API. Starlet itself doesn't provide built-in tools for generating API documentation. Fast API shines in this aspect by automatically generating interactive API documentation using the Open API standard. Developers can easily explore and test API endpoints with a web interface, which greatly aids in development, debugging, and collaboration. Now we'll be considering a simple web application for managing a list of tasks We'll create this application using both Starlet and Fast API to showcase the differences in implementation. We're building a user-friendly task manager app that lets you easily create, view, edit, and delete tasks. 
first install starlet and ubicoin next create a very simple starlet application so this is the code for a very simple starlet app which has this in memory list of tasks and two different functions which are also API endpoints, list tasks and create tasks. The method get is list tasks for this route and the method post is create tasks for this route itself. It should probably have a different name and this is the app. If you want to do the same thing with fast API, then use this. It's almost the same, just that it's actually almost the same, just that you didn't have to do mention the route separately. This is how you can run both of the applications. If you want to test the applications, you can use curl or API testing tools like Postman or Swagger. This is the request that you need to send and these are the endpoints. In this demo, we looked at how to build a very simple task manager application with Starlet and Fast API. While the core functionality is similar, Fast API offers a more intuitive and declarative approach to building APIs, including automatic request validation and interactive documentation. The choice between the two frameworks depends on your preferences and project requirements. Data validation comparison. Here's a simple code example that illustrates the difference in data validation between Starlet and Fast API. In Starlet, basic validation is done like this. So if name is in data and age is in data, then user is created successfully. So this needs to be validated explicitly and here it just takes in the type hints and automatically does it. In the Starlet example, the data validation for the create user endpoint is done manually using conditional statements to check if the required field name and age are present in the request data. In case of invalid data, custom error response is returned. On the other hand, in the fast API example, data validation is automatically handled by the framework. The function parameter data dict specifies the incoming JSON request should be of type dictionary. If required fields are missing or the data structure is incorrect, fast API will automatically respond with a validation error. So instead of a dictionary, this should be a specific object and that object will have specific data types in it. That is what this should be validating or this should have type hints as well. I would suggest doing that and checking and then trying different scenarios you, yourself as a DIY and letting me know how that goes. If you want to have um, explicit validation rules in Starlet like it was in Fast API, you will have to use Pydantic. So you have this name and age which is a string and int and here when you create the user you mentioned that this input data has to be of this uh, type object user data with a name as string and age as int. So this is how we mentioned that. Conclusion. Both Starlet and Fast API offer valuable contributions to Python web development ecosystem. While Starlet provides a solid foundation for building asynchronous web applications, Fast API takes the concept further by introducing higher level abstractions, automatic data validation, and interactive API documentation. The choice between the two depends on the project's requirements, with Starlet catering to those seeking more low level control, and fast API catering to developers aiming for rapid development with modern abstractions. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Would appreciate feedback or questions in the comments. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.